changing uh, perceptions among farmers is something that I don't believe has happened. The reality is, when you're out of step with everyone else, you have to wonder who's in step, Matt. But I'd always feel that farmers always realised that food production and feeding the consumer was very important, that producing sustainable food that was environmentally friendly with high animal welfare standards, that's what we've been about all the time. And I grew up on a farm where my family are farming for 300 years. And as I say, there's everything on it from lime kilns that were used to burn lime to feed the British Army during the Crimean War to intensive bull production today. So I don't think at farm level, bar having to meet new regulation and change in standards, we've always had the same focus. But I am of the view that policy makers and regulators lost the plot for a while. And certainly at EU level for a while, Food security, feeding people, didn't seem to be what we were about. And Lars was here this morning and I was debating a bit of it over dinner. Food security is so important. The growing world population, that's a target out there. We've always, as farmers, had the laws of supply and demand. When there's too much of anything, the farmer gets nothing for it. The minute it gets scarce, we become appreciated again. And the change in the Irish economy has probably brought a bit of reality to people. And while the huge deficit that was spoken about earlier on and the pressure we're under, the huge unemployment, is a huge threat for Ireland. But we need to get back to basics and look at what we're good at. We've always been good in Ireland at producing food and to a high standard. We have advantages that several other countries haven't, whether it's our green grass, whether it's an abundance of water, and a very well-skilled farming force that's out there that have put a huge investment into their business. Farmers invested over four billion in infrastructure over the last few years. Whether it's the dairy industry, the beef industry, or our brewing industry, the agribusiness has geared up substantially over the last few years. We've made a huge investment, and we're well positioned for any growth that's out there. We've bought into sustainability. We've bought into the higher standards that the EU demanded of us. But the one thing we ask in return is a fair price for what we produce. The reality is, in several years, farmers have sold food below the cost of production. This is not sustainable. The reality is, even in 2010, we've heard that agricultural incomes were up. 94% of agricultural income still came from support. So you can see how important the common agricultural policy, sustainable policies at European level that recognise the importance of food security and put an emphasis on that. The emphasis, we've no problem with greening. My view is that we've embraced it over the years. Permanent grassland, biodiversity, we meet much higher standards than most of our European counterparts, but we have to get credit for that. It's no use just in the morning saying, we'll take a chunk of the single farm payment and we'll give you less of it to do more. There has to be an emphasis on paying people who meet these standards. It's well accepted that here in Ireland we have a very low carbon footprint, whether it's kilo of beef or kilo of dairy products, dairy solid. It doesn't matter. Our grain, uh, it's accepted that they meet high environmental standards. But we have to get, and Aidan spoke about it there earlier on, up the market chain. One of the things that, when you look at it over the years, agricultural production has been rising, the percentage that the primary producer has been getting has reduced. The farmer has taken a lower share of the end price. Food to the consumer, I forget who said it earlier on, is too cheap, is exceptionally cheap. The reality is the fact that people spend less than 11% of weak household income on food is a reflection of how food is treated. And there's only one rule out there. When a product gets scarcer, people appreciate it and are willing to pay. And certainly, I think, in, with the world population growing from 6.7 billion to 9 billion, the capacity, in particular the Southern Hemisphere, to increase production with the rate of increased population, it's not there. So there will be increased pressure on countries like Ireland, the UK, France, Germany, to produce more food. And we can do it in an environmentally sustainable fashion. Uh, unfortunately, the Minister and Lars are gone at this stage, but the messages I have are very clear for them, that the regulators, the people who lay down the rules that we farm to, have to bear in mind what agriculture can do for the Irish economy, what agriculture can do for Europe, and they have to, 
make sure that they frame the common agricultural policy in that direction. Now, I'd have to say there's a huge and welcome evolution in thinking in Europe. I sat at discussion groups in Europe two years ago where you'd almost think food production was a blight on the world. Instead of seeing it as feeding the world population, there was a lack of understanding of how important it is. Certainly, that perception is changing, Matt. And that's, I think, more and more people out there are beginning to realize what agriculture has to offer. And a question came from the floor in the morning, and I agree. We're not going to become the new building industry. Agriculture is a nice, slow, steady burner. For a short while, people took their eye off the ball. Farmers and the agri-sector didn't. We're back where we should have been as a very important part of the Irish economy. We have a lot to contribute. We need a proper regulatory system that acknowledges that. And there's a prize there for everyone. There's a prize for the farmer, there's a prize for the processor, there's a prize for the retailer and the consumer. But there has to be a partnership that everyone gets their fair share in the food chain. And as I say, if I have one message here, it's that to acknowledge the importance of agriculture to the economy, because I'm very conscious, agriculture and food, you won't have a food business without a strong agriculture. And that's probably the message I have for the European Commission and the government. And I certainly welcome the strong stance that Minister Coveney has taken since he's taken over as Minister for Agriculture. He's grown into the brief and acknowledging how important it is, and there'll be a serious test of his resolve in the budget in the autumn, but the one message I always have is value for money. Every euro you spend, you have to get it back there. And agriculture is the one sector that any euro put in in the Irish economy will deliver over and over again. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.